One of the major pressures when embarking on in vitro fertilization is to balance the, the risk of high order multiples against the risk of not getting pregnant. The situation, the recent situation that has really been a black eye for our field, these, the, the octuplets that were born in Southern California, uh, really uh, is exemplary of a dilemma that some people may face. Currently the approach is to get as many eggs as we can, inseminate as many as we can, get as many embryos as we can and try to select a few embryos from this cohort. But since we really have no quantitative means to assess the embryos, the patients really have a valid argument to push us to transfer more embryos than we're comfortable transferring because we can't definitively say you're going to get quadruplets if we put four embryos in because we know very well that we don't know the potential of these embryos. After participating in some research on metabolomic profiling, I had the idea to see if we could apply metabolomic profiling to eggs. Metabolomic profiling is a process that is designed to measure the inner workings of a cell. And a good analogy that I can think of um, real fast is how one diagnoses an engine of, a, of an automobile. Uh, you can look at an engine, you can listen to an engine, but what is far more diagnostic about how efficient or how well an engine is running or how healthy an engine is, is to do a smog test. And metabolomic profiling of cells is very much like doing a smog test on your engine. And I collaborated with a colleague in Atlanta and a company called Molecular Biometrics who facilitated uh, applying the metabolomic uh, diagnostics to our culture media. And we were very fortunate to discover that with a short three-hour incubation of eggs before in vitro fertilization, we were able to correlate the metabolomic profile that these eggs generated with the pregnancy test results that is generated two weeks after in vitro fertilization. Being able to uh, associate a fingerprint of an unfertilized egg with developmental parameters that occur five days or two weeks downstream once this fertilized egg is developing into a fetus in the endometrium uh, is, is truly phenomenal. If we could develop a quantitative means to select eggs and to inseminate the viable ones, I think uh, scientifically we're compelled to try and move in that direction. And uh, an oocyte or egg metabolomics is really one major step in that direction. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.